People in Karachi know them as chinkchis. They are inexpensive and welcomed by commuters who suffer on local buses. We tried to travel in Karachi's buses and this is what we saw. So many have opted to travel in these illegal contraptions. Buses are a hassle. We are packed in like animals. In buses we are also afraid of pickpockets and mobile snatching. It's a great convenience for us. We can get to places in 10 minutes instead of half an hour. And not everyone agrees that these auto rickshaws shouldn't be on the streets. Tanvir Hussain drives one and his family's survival depends on it. We don't consider this illegal because it allows us to earn a living. I have six children and auto rickshaws allow me to earn five to seven dollars a day. But there are legal and a bit more expensive three-wheelers on the road as well. These motor rickshaws have three wheels, but this one is legal and this one isn't. These so-called chinchis are not safe on the road because they do not meet engine and safety requirements. But despite their shortcomings, chinchis are a small industry in many parts of Pakistan. The government agrees that it's failing to keep them off the road, but has also failed to provide safe and reliable public transport for a growing population. Their status is illegal, but operating under some necessity. That necessity is manifold. Lacks implementation of laws, too few buses and a growing gap between demand and supply of fuel. Criminals are also taking advantage of the government's failures. Many chinkchis are reported to be manufactured after modifying stolen bikes. The conversion, an illegal conversion, is a challenge. It's a challenge for the police and uh, because uh, stolen motorcycles are already covered under law. Commuting in Karachi on public transportation is very difficult, so more chinkchis are expected to provide some comfort but add to congestion on the city's roads. Sama bin Javed, Al Jazeera, Karachi.